yet another night. We're going to go tonight at the end. We're going to play a little bit more games. All right. So if y'all been coming to each one, you know, we've been doing a lot of drills, that kind of thing. We're going to try and end off the night with some little games. We call them like King of the Mountain. I don't know if we have quite enough for that, but we're going to at least play some little five on five. We're going to scoot the goals up close together and uh, play some fun little games at the end. All right. I hear y'all have trials in like two weeks is what I hear. Does that sound about right? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, a lot of the stuff that, that these guys are trying to help you with, it'll definitely help you along the way. We all have about eight, nine, ten games scheduled, I think, something like that. Uh, so hopefully you'll get a little something out of this tonight. We're going to do it tonight, and then we'll do one more again next uh, Wednesday, and then that'll be it. And I think you got trials coming up, and high school practice will start. Y'all get to be special. You get to be the first team ever. I didn't want the high school. That'd be kind of kind of cool. All right, girls, you're going to have Haley and Sarah. They're going to help you out. Y'all going to go down there. All right, Sully, uh, you guys sort of helping out with the uh, community, giving back here, helping with some of the soccer clinics. Let's talk about tonight's event and some of the things you've got going on tonight. Yeah, um, we're out here to help uh, Itawamba Agricultural High School's first uh, soccer team is going to be coming into play this year. One of our old players from a couple of years ago, Randy Ernest, is going to be the coach. So told him I'd do anything we could to help him out. And while he can't be out here to – run stuff until they're officially started we can come out and do a few little clinics and you know he can sit back and watch a little bit and evaluate some of the talent so you know we like to try and give back as much as we can we're excited that uh it going to have the first high school team and i'm looking forward to one day signing the very first iahs uh, soccer player to play for me well coach it's a good turnout i counted real quick almost 30 uh 30 participants here uh, for this. You know, it's very good to have that type of turnout uh, when you're starting a program like Itawamba is. Yeah, I mean, and they've still got a lot of people that are playing football and girls softball that are not here that probably would be had those things not been going on. So we've had anywhere from 30 to 40 uh, the couple of nights that we've done it. We're, I think we've done three of them and we're going to do one more uh, before they get started. So, you know, we've been, uh, we've brought some different guys and girls out here each time and they're having a good time with the kids and uh, I think it's been good for everybody. All right, girls, talk about what it means to you to be able to help the uh, community and help the kids sort of learn the games you guys get to play on the collegiate level. Um, I like coming out here because um, I want to be a coach when I get older, and it's helping me to develop them and help me get ready to be a soccer coach myself. And I just like helping kids out because they're going to play at our level one day. I like being involved and helping these kids out. I know they're excited about having a team at their school this year, and they're working hard, and maybe one day they'll be an ICC soccer player. You're moving in this little area right in here. All right, you should be showing for the ball right here. You should be coming and showing for the ball right here. These two guys in the middle are trying to stop y'all from passing the ball. They're going to try and get it away from you. The two things about this is we go slowly. I play it right here to him. All right, hold it right there. We got one guy in pressure on the ball, and we got one guy in cover. All right, these are terms you're going to learn probably later on. We want pressure on the ball to make him make a mistake. If both you two run up to him equally, run up to him on both sides of him equally, he's good. He's just going to play a split pass right through to him. All right? If they get in a good pressure and cover position, that can not happen. All right? He's going to – Drew is forcing him to play me the ball back right here. Get back to him. Now he should step up right there, and he drops off into cover right there. Because if he stays flat, again, I go right here like that. But once the ball comes across and he drops off into cover, much harder for me to do something. All right? But again, if people on the outside, you're going to want to be moving around. Like if you play the ball to him, all right, I'm coming right here just to open up to him, give him something to pass to. I'm not standing on my cone. All right, the cones are just there to give you a general idea of where the square is. Does that make sense? Good, good, good. Right. right here, right here. Alright guys, you're inside. Look, this way, it's like top tier. There you go, good job. Yep. 